What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba Marine and we're headed out the sandbar to do another treasure hunt. We're actually going up here to meet another YouTube subscriber of ours. My dad has a secondary boat out today which he's already took the subscriber out. His name's Eric. We're going to meet up with him here shortly and I'll introduce you to him. But I got Instructor Shark Bait filming for me. I got Captain Brian over here. He's getting suited up in his suit and I'm going to let him take over the controls. But we're going to head up here. We had a huge 4th of July celebration out on the lake. So hopefully we'll do very well on treasure hunt, maybe find us some good pair of sunglasses, things like that. Uh, we do have two search and recovery dives we're going to go do today. Shark bait's actually been hired to uh, look for a guy's anchor while we're at the sandbar itself. And then also we have a like a fish statue that we've got to go look for, which uh, Dylan or instructor shark bait's got to go after. So we're going to head up the lake. We're going to knock out the treasure hunt first and then I'll make you two separate videos on the search and recovery because I'm going to show you kind of how we do um, solo search and recovery dives when it's just one diver underwater and then the backups on top. I'm going to talk a little bit about communications and how we handle that. So come along with us. We're going to get up the lake and hopefully we'll have a good dive. Right, guys so we're here at the sandbar I got mr eric with me eric's one of our subscribers he actually contacted us on scuba board and asked us if we was coming out after the fourth do some treasure hunting we told him absolutely asked him if he wanted to come out and join us so eric what we're at here basically is just a huge sandbar the shallowest part's about three foot kind of looks like a mushroom head if you will it's about three foot you want to get down to about the eight ten foot section that's where most of the good stuff's found but basically this entire area here is the sandbar so you ready to jump in and do some treasure hunting? Yeah. Awesome, awesome, man. Let's jump in. Let's see what we can Let's find. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> Record. Okay. Talk it up. You touching?
All right, guys, so we just got finished up. Eric, what'd you think? That was awesome. Pretty cool treasure hunt, um, absolutely. <laughs> We're gonna go through what we found real quick. I'm gonna go through some of the stuff Eric found. Uh, we always find these pinnacle cake bottles, uh, liquor bottles. He found an Iron Man watch, kids' little gym bracelet there, a couple uh, lighters and stuff. He found some pretty decent sunglasses here, but he also found a pair of Ray-Bans and a pair of Oakley gas cans, just like the ones I'm wearing here. So. That is definitely a really good find for you, brother. Okay. First time out to our sandbar and come up with a pair of Rayman and Oakleys. A couple other cool things we got here. This is a pair of Oakley Two Faces. Captain Brian found them. We've got a pair of Raybans. Yours truly found them. Got a pair of Costas. Oh, Instructor Shark Bait, Man Who Famine. He got those. This mask right here, there's a story to this mask. Guys, this is a Marez I-3 mask that was lost in 2012 by a former dive, or dive master of ours. And we've actually been looking for this mask for what, six years now, and we just happened to cross it. And there's two ways that we know it's his. First of all, it's Marez I-3, which we sell, but if you look at the strap cover, it still says dive master on it. So uh, it's pretty cool. I'm gonna get this cleaned up and actually get it back to him. But we found quite a few cheap sunglasses. Some of them are actually in really good shape, so we'll get them cleaned up. We found a weight pouch, and we just found out that that belongs to Captain Brian, so we're gonna get it back to him as well. Several different anchors. Dylan got a little thirsty underwater, so we stopped at the convenience store and got him a Mountain Dew that wasn't open yet. A couple more anchors, and of course, a sun hat. So yeah, all in all, it was a really good dive. I wanna give a uh, thank you to Eric for definitely being a subscriber and coming out and diving with us. I hope thank you had you. a blast. I really enjoyed it. Uh, we've got another search and recovery to go do this morning, so we're going to head out and do that. Guys, stay tuned because I've got several videos on underwater communication coming up. We're going to be using some surface comms on this next dive, which you'll see in the very next video. But yeah, I appreciate you coming on this dive with us. If you got any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. Make sure you check out some of our other salvaging videos. We've got a ton of them out there, and we've got a ton more coming in the future. But as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recovery videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.